Ahead of Manchester United Europa League last 16 match against Real Betis on Thursday, Marcus Rashford defended his teammate Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes had faced significant criticism for his actions during the defeat to Liverpool, including accusations of a lack of leadership and pushing an assistant referee at Anfield. Yeah, I love playing with Bruno, as you can imagine. Um, I think for for a forward, you know, like me, he, he's he's a perfect player to, to play with. Um, you know, I think he's, he's he's been a good leader for us, even when he's not been uh, captain, which is always a good sign. He's, he's helped other players become better leaders, and the reality of it is, we can't be a well-organized team with just one leader being the captain. Um, so he's, he's he's done a lot for us in in terms of bringing his leadership skills in, and that was from the moment that he arrived. Um, so yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about Bruno. Like the manager said, nobody's perfect. Um, you know, sometimes you want to win so bad, you, you end up doing things that are a little bit out of character. But listen, 100% support Bruno and behind him. And I think as a team, we have to we have to support him because he's he's a fantastic player. And um, you know, like the boss said, we, we won't be in the position that we're in if, if he wasn't playing games. Really. During the match, Eric Ten Hag's team was torn apart by Liverpool resulting in one of the most remarkable results in Premier League history. This was despite Cordy Gakpo scoring the opening goal before half-time. In the match, Cody Gakpo, Mohamed Salah, and Darwin Nunes scored two goals each for Liverpool, with Roberto Firmino adding a seventh goal late in the game. During this time, Manchester United's organisation and structure appeared to falter, contributing to the heavy defeat.